Hello and welcome to Orbiting Brick. Today's video is going to be the start of a new series. It's not my uh, recovery services series. Uh, the two uh, rescue missions I've been offered are incredibly challenging and I haven't been able to uh, do them yet. This is gonna be a career mode and you can already see I've built the uh, first rocket. Now, this is a lightly modded career using a restock and restock plus, plus a bunch of other uh, mainly visual mods. And now I'm just doing some science here. And we can now launch. And there's barely any fuel in our rocket. And uh, you can, uh, well you can already tell if something is off about the solar system, because we can now already see very clearly the curve of Kerbin. And well, that's going to become pretty obvious pretty soon. <laughs> because um, if I zoom out here, yeah, this is a tiny solar system. It's one tenth to scale of a, a normal uh, Kerbal solar system. And so, with the first flight a success, which, um, well, basically, with how small the Delta V requirements are in the, a, a one-tenth scale solar system, we already can go to orbit. I'm just quickly constructing a rocket here using a restock plus engine. And now, uh, we're getting so many funds with how many more, like we can complete one milestone every mission, basically. So it may as well be a science mode. And I probably should say, the series is also gonna be a challenge to see how quickly I can complete the entire game. And this episode's goal was to land on the Mon by day 5 in game. Because we've already reached orbit and I'm now deorbiting. However, I made a classic mistake and and uh, slowed down so much that I more just fell and so re entered and so the parachute broke apart and um, yeah, Trevodana died. Uh, missing crew respawns is off in this save file. So may this death not be in vain and let's continue on and something else that sounds vaguely like, sentimental. But yeah, now we can build our next rocket, which will bring Valentina into uh, space and hopefully bring her back. And this time I'm adding a, reser a reserve parachute. As well as a drogue parachute. So now we can do more science. And basically repeat the previous mission, but with less uh, death. And so now we're in orbit and we just need to return. And, uh, and you can see how uh, slow orbital speed is. So, in theory, that, that should make uh, every entry easy, but there is barely any atmosphere and that's why the uh, parachutes don't really work that well. Yes, this mission was a success. And now we can do more science. And we're already ready to uh, do our first uh, flyby of the Mon. I wanted to make this a probe because um, uh, crewed missions uh, haven't gone that well so far. But uh, we don't have fairings yet and the only probe core we had was the uh, Stay Putnik. So it has to be a, a crewed rocket. And I'm making some very minimal modifications to my previous launcher. I just added the science junior and changed the uh, fuel and thrust levels of the SRB and put some extra fuel on the upper stage. I'm actually making a bunch of modifications. I also added this experiment uh, storage unit. And now, and now we're about ready to uh, go. And so the goal of this flight will be to do a flyby of demand, which um, yeah, it should be uh, again fairly easy, one tenth scale. 
And I'm mainly just burning straight towards the mine because it's so close to Corbin. And just, you know, again, this is like this is an extremely easy career. And so the re and so the reason I added the uh, time uh, the time restraint is to add some challenge. And trust me, there definitely will be a more challenging career coming soon. It's just I don't have the time to do that right now, and there's some technical difficulties getting it set up. But that should be coming fairly soon. And so we're just doing some science, and you can uh, see the uh, mon arches on the surface of the mon because the structures stay the same scale, while the uh, so while the uh, celestial object they're on gets. Uh, well, it becomes one tenth the size it normally is. Anyways, we already have a free return trajectory. And, and by the way, the uh, way I got the solar system to one tenth scale is using uh, Sigma dimensions uh, with a rescale patch. And I just set everything to uh, 0.1. This is a fairly normal descent. Now we didn't need the reserve parachute. Well, I decided to deploy it uh, later in the descent just to slow us down a bit more. Now it's time to orbit the Mon, as well as get a bit of science uh, junior data from the launch pad. Uh, basically the same as the uh, previous mission, uh, just with the orbital insertion, more science, and EVA, because I upgraded the astronaut complex, and, uh, and now we can uh, return to Kerbin which is fairly straightforward. And we're starting to get very close to our deadline of uh, five days. Doing a bit more science. And for, and for the series, uh, complete the game means to uh, unlock the entire tech tree. And I could do that easily by just by hopping on the Mun and Min miss. But I decided that I will only do uh, one landing mission on on each celestial body. So now we need to land on the Mon. And so I've designed a new spacecraft using the uh, Mark II uh, command pod we just unlocked. And now we don't have much. We don't have many of the uh, 1.875 meter diameter parts. So it's kind of a interesting design and um, yeah no um, I was kind of worried this was gonna tip over because of how top heavy it is but it ended up working fine you can just add parachutes to this Let's have some solar panels and batteries, and we put a larger booster on it. Auto strut it. And this uh, craft is about ready to go. Plus I have uh, the uh, Benji 10's uh, suit uh, mod. Add some extra historical uh, Kerbal suits. And so now we can launch. And this uh, very similar ascent profile of immediately pitching over and, and inevitably overburning and getting into a very eccentric uh, trajectory. And we don't even need to insert into orbit first, we can just go directly to the Mon. I'm 
also, we're not even going to insert into orbit around the Mun. We're just gonna sl we're just gonna slow down and land directly from our uh, flyby trajectory. I actually considered landing at one of the Mun arches, but I decided against it. And uh, it's a fairly standard uh, descent, just pointing retrograde relative to the surface, not burning at full throttle. Also, with this series, I'm definitely going to do a EVE return, a EVE surface return, which I don't think it will be much of a challenge in this, because, again, one-tenth scale, and I'm pretty sure, like, well, just a, a standard-sized uh, lander could probably uh, do EVE with this. And, uh, and again, the entire reason I made this career so, so easy was because... I don't have much time to record right now, and uh, and fairly soon I'll have a, a much uh, better uh, career to uh, do. So this is intended to just be a short series, and that's also why I put the time constraint. So we've landed, and um, at the end of the video I'll uh, I'll uh, see if the uh, if we actually uh, accomplished the goal of landing on the moon within five days. So we can go on EVA. And uh, we haven't unlocked ladders, so we're just going to use the EVA jetpack. Well, it's really a RCS pack. We can run some science experiments. And plant a flag. And so now we're already ready. We're already ready to return. I haven't unlocked the uh, surface experiments yet. And again, fairly easy ascent. And it's a pretty normal uh, trajectory back to Kerbin. Just uh, I, I realized I had a contract that required getting science data from space around them on. So I quickly got an EVA report. And so we can re-enter now. After just doing a uh, braking burn to uh, slow down a bit. And we can detach the uh, command module. And we can uh, sli and we can slow down using the parachutes. And so we have tons of science, and just barely I missed the deadline by two hours. But yeah, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and goodbye.